Hey there, thanks for tuning in to an Image Coffee unboxing. Today, as I'm sure you can see from the description, we are unboxing the Vario Plus. This is the white model. Currently goes for around $529.95. Uh, I have not seen this yet. We just got it in. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at just some of the stuff that comes in the box. There will be a review video coming later, but today we're just gonna open it up so you can see what to expect when you get your Vario Plus. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So this has 220 steps of grinding. So it is definitely perfect for those espresso lovers trying to chase that God shot, that golden shot, that perfect espresso. Um, but let's see what we got here. So this is the box it comes in, nice and hefty. Um, nothing too crazy. Ooh, we've got green packaging. We've got some eco stuff. A beautiful journey from seed to cup. A little coaster, fun little inclusion. We've got the quick start guide ready to rock. So here we have some packaging material. Ooh, she purdy. This is awesome. Okay, so we've got a very traditional Vario hopper, very similar to the old model as well. This is of course the Plus, which is the upgraded model. Always, it's just the simple things in life that make me happy. Closable hopper. I mean, seriously, why would you any, ever make one without this? This is so genius. You always wanna be able to change over coffees, switch to decaf, be able to pour over the beans without having to pick up your grinder and actually pour it back into the bag. Um, this is awesome. I guess you don't really wrestle with that if you're doing single dosing. But if you're doing big batches, if you're doing events or any kind of commercial, you're usually filling the hopper because you're gonna go through it within a couple hours anyway. Um, but yeah, definitely closable hopper, awesome. Looks like there's a good storage for a full bag of beans there. That is great. Here we've got our grounds bin, which of course, if you're doing espresso, you won't really be using all that much because you'll probably use the portafilter hooks. But if you are doing your cold brew or pour over or anything like that, um, it's always good to have a little grounds bin as well. And here, ooh, wow. I thought this was a WDT. No, this is your burr adjustment tool. This is a hefty burr adjustment tool, man. So you've got big clear arrows right there. If you can zoom in and see, you've got finer and coarser. You've got the teeth on there for the little grip and you got your Allen wrench. Way to be innovative, Bratza. I'm tired of just getting those plain old Allen keys. Let's get something cooler, right? So here is your hopper, or not your hopper. This is your grounds bin for your ground coffee. Very simple, very exactly what you need. I believe this is your burr remo removal tool where you can lock in and lock out and you can change out the burrs on there. Like I said, I'm just getting to this. We haven't reviewed it. We haven't really dug into it. So I'm guessing here, shot in the dark. Here we have the actual unit itself. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Wow, she is hefty too. Oh. With grinders, kind of like with speakers, if it's heavy, that's usually a good sign. There's at least some decent parts in there. Um, if you have a big light grinder, it's probably just the cheapest motor it can find and it's probably not gonna last very long. But this has some definite weight to it, which is awesome. It comes with those um, portafilter hooks pre-installed. It looks like this whole thing actually comes out if you wanted to change it out and use the grounds bin, if you are more of a pour over, cold brew, French press, percolator, any other type of brew that requires you to get this dose in here but it looks like it fits tight, so you don't have chaff flying away everywhere. So when you're using fresh ground coffee, there will be chaff. And if you have a loose grounds bin, there will be chaff everywhere, but this one's nice and tight. Um, yeah, man, very simple, gorgeous design. You've got your macro steps over here, and you've got your micro steps over here. I like those hard stops over here. I like the clicks that you get out of it and the, the fine tuning over here. Definitely solid. Let's go ahead and put this in so we can see what it looks like finally. Let's see. Bear with me. All right, so you are gonna go with the hopper closed to the back. There we go. This takes a little bit of force to get to lock in. You'll feel that jut in there. Don't break it, but a little bit of force is all you need. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is a very simple unboxing. This is not too many complicated parts. Everything you need is inside this grinder. Um, it should be good to go. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. Should we pull a shot? With the power of camera magic, let's go ahead and get the flare and the kettle and it will appear magically before your eyes. We are here. We've got our flare 58. We've got our kettle getting some water going. 
Um, this is not a flare tutorial, but if you do have the Flare 58X and not the Flare 58 and you need to preheat your kettle, you can actually pop it right on top and let the steam preheat it while your water is heating up, which is great. So this is our actual air kettle as well that we sell on image.coffee. Um, great budget alternative if you're not looking to spend too much money but want a nice gooseneck kettle and the delicious and matte black finish. Uh, yeah, we use this, we love this kettle, it's great. So with that, let's go ahead and start getting some coffee going while our water heats up over here. Today we'll be using Be Bright Rich and Smooth, uh, their Vivid Espresso Blend, that's what we're gonna be using today. But let's go ahead and load our hopper up top, make sure we're open air out of there. Let's start with that. How's that sound? That sounds good, right? All right, let's start there. Let's get our vacuum pulled back again. So as you can see here on these portafilter hooks, this is just gonna lock in right there. Not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna guess, I have no clue, I just opened this, but let's try 3K and see what happens with the flare. It's definitely got some noise to it. Nice, it's pretty fast, fluffy, not as fast as the Sete, but it is quieter than the Sete, that is for sure. So pretty fluffy grinds. I'm not sure exactly how low retention this is, but that'll be a test for time. Let's go ahead and tamp this guy down and your puck screen with your Flare 58. So we'll leave this off to the side. This guy ooh, actually is hot to the touch. So that is gonna be good to go. So let's go ahead and lock this guy in. Then you can lock in your porta filter. Lock that guy in nice and tight. Get everything teared out. So that is good to go. You guys, I think we guessed pretty darn well. Look at that flow, that is great. Right in espresso range, we're sitting at 20 seconds, 12 grams. Now we put about 18 grams in. I was guessing a little bit based on what this is. But I make coffee every day, so I'm pretty good at guessing. All right, wow, look at that. So it looks like we've got 36 grams right at 38 seconds. We're gonna stop that here. All right guys, 3K, good starting place. I don't know what your grinder's gonna do, but <laughs> that actually seems pretty decent. It smells balanced, let's see how it tastes. It is sour, so it's not perfect. Maybe not 3K. I'm trying to see. It's, I mean, it's slightly sour, but it is completely drinkable. I mean, this is a, not just drinkable, this is a good shot of espresso. Man, good job, Vario. You done well, kid. You done well. Um, we still gotta play around with this some more. Like I said, there's gonna be a review video coming. We gotta make some pour overs with this. We gotta make some French press, some percolator. Every brew method we have, we gotta put this thing through the gauntlet. But for my main coffee choice, which is espresso, it worked really, really well. Um, honestly, I might just keep it on this setting and get the flare group head preheated a little bit more. It might be a little sour just because the temperature was a little low because I didn't give it enough time to heat up. But you guys, this seems like a pretty good grinder so far. I'm excited to get in and play with it. Everything you see here is available at image.coffee if you are interested in getting started brewing coffee at home. Be careful, it is a slippery slope, but it is well worth it. Uh, it's awesome to be able to just make amazing coffee at home daily and just be able to make for your friends and family. Um, coffee's great. That has been a successful unboxing of the Barazza Vario Plus in white. Let us know what you think down below. Do you have one of these grinders? Do you want one of these grinders? Are you in the market for a new espresso grinder? Are you looking to get into coffee? All that we would love to hear about your coffee journey. Uh, we started just like anybody else 10 years ago now um, with the cheapest machine we could find and just kept falling in love with coffee more and more and more and turned it into a business. So uh, let us know what you think. Let us know if you wanna get started in coffee so you can start making amazing coffee at home for you, your friends and your family. Um, but with that, you guys, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.